Juniata College's mock trial team will be competing for a national title. This after placing first at regionals. Our Ryan Risky spoke with the team about the accomplishment and how they got to the stage. Juniata College has one of the best mock trial teams in the country. After finishing first at regionals ahead of Yale, they are now off to compete for a national title. Across the country, every team is working on the same case at each competition. The one this season is a pilot who crashed a plane into a mountain and killed the passenger. The spouse of the passenger brings a lawsuit uh, alleging uh, negligence on the part of the pilot. And there's all kinds of possible reasons why the pilot did it. Was it, was it weather? Was it a drug he was taking? Um, w was there an engine failure? So there are all kinds of possibilities uh, that present itself. After each competition, new information, Witnesses and changes are presented to provide many new theories for the mock trial teams as they prepare for their next trial. This year's case has had a plaintiff bias, which means the plaintiff has won more rounds. So they have steadily increased the factual strength of the defense. So that means there's been more avenues for the defense, like Attorney Andrews talked about, they've increased the viability of a drug having caused the crash, of an engine failure having caused the crash, of a firework. At the trials, there are two sessions, one for each team to be on the plaintiff's side and the other to be on the defendant's side, which makes preparation more difficult. Sometimes I will record my closing arguments on my phone and play them while I sleep. I mean, it gets <laughs> to that point where you really got to find just however you can to memorize this case because you're looking at around 200 pages of material. And a lot of times you can't know it all. You really can't know every single line of every single statement. What you need to do is outwork the other person. It's a whole lot of you know late night readings about the affidavits, all these witnesses, the exhibits you're going through, and it's a lot of uh, preparation for public speaking as well, giving those opening speeches, being able to stand before the judges and give a direct examination or a cross of a witness where you have to think on your feet. Reporting for WTAJ News, I'm Ryan Risky.